So the latest numbers are in from Famitsu. For those who don't know who Famitsu is, they are a magazine uh, publisher. They have a gaming magazine out in Japan, all that jazz, uh, and they put up sales figures every single week for Japan. And yeah, pretty much everything's dead but Switch. And Switch itself, just just kind of cruising along at a really high volume without any new notable releases all right before we get into it i gotta remind everyone we are giving away three copies of super mario 3d all-stars baby you want to enter for that go to the gleam link down in the description winners will be announced on uh the first also if you join our patreon at patreon.com slash internal prime for as little as one dollar a month you get 15 entries into every giveaway we do uh we have a second giveaway as well for a switch light and two switch games of choice again go down to the description big long list of ways to enter all right let's get into this now as you're seeing here with the Fimitsu sales list, we're first going to go over the software. Because at number one, for consecutive weeks in Japan, the home country of Switch is Ring Fit Adventure. Selling 43,459 units. It's actually a 32% decrease week over week. But that game is now over 1.5 million man ring fit adventure just keeps giving and giving and giving and i gotta admit having tried it myself ring fit adventure is pretty legit I'm, I'm just saying at number two at number two up from one spot last week is animal crossing new horizons that game's almost at 5.7 million it sold 31,000 units uh after that we get some mario kart 8 deluxe action at number three moving 12,280 units that is obviously over 3 million uh, we did have one new release for Switch this week. Well, I guess two, but this is the highest rated one. Uh, at number four, Minecraft Dungeons Hero Edition from Microsoft uh, at 11,450. Uh, at number five, we have Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics. Don't forget, that is a brand new game that came from Nintendo uh, this year. People don't talk about it as much as they probably should, but it sold 9,620 units. It is over the $350,000 uh, unit mark there. Uh, PlayStation 4 Marvel's Avengers is at number six, was at number two, uh, but it had an 82% drop off down to 7,892, about 50,000 or so units of sold of that. Uh, at number seven is a new PlayStation 4 game, Metal Max Xeno Reborn. Uh, it sold 7,789 units. The Switch version of it actually is right behind it at 7,277. Then you get Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, that game popping in at 6,761. It is almost a 4 million. It, it's, it's probably going to cross 4 million uh, at some point here in the next six months. And then you have Pokemon Sword and Shield chiming in with 6,492 units. That one is also likely going to cross 4 million units sometime in the next six months. Remember, there's DLC still coming for that this year, by the way. Nintendo, I mean, it was recently reconfirmed with a little a little trailer, but I'm just saying that like it, there's still some some Pokemon action to go into. Now, now we get into the hardware. This is where things are just... Nintendo's on cruise control. So for those who don't know, in Japan, they're still doing lotteries at some retailers for Switch purchases. A.K.A. you put your name in a hat, they draw it out, and you get an opportunity to buy a Switch because they can't keep it in stock. It is selling out week to week. So when you see these numbers, this is basically how many units Nintendo could get into Japan that week <laughs> and right now for this week it's 83,920 units 30,458 of those were nintendo switch lights whereas 53,462 were the red box you know normal switch additions yeah that's an increase over the 77,611 before uh last week and a 30,000 32,000 to be exact increase over last year at the same point Year to date, they are at 3,773,514 units. Yeah, they're going to be over 4 million before we even get to October, which is a big deal. I mean, heck, Super Mario 3D All Stars isn't even out. Think about this. The, 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 the sales data for this is, uh, is the 7th through the 13th. So the next sales data is going to be, you know, the 13th through the 19th. That is going to include, you guessed it, Super Mario 3D All Stars. How, do you, how much do you want to bet? that uh, these sales may be double because Nintendo prepared for this launch and we see 150 to 200,000 Switches sold. How, how, many, how, how many units do you think uh, you know, Super Mario 3D All-Stars is going to debut at in Japan? I mean, gosh, 
Are, are we looking at five hundred thousand? That's what I'm. That's what I'm going. With. I'm going with five hundred thousand for a debut in Japan, which is massive. Um, all right. Uh, so last year to date, we see they're almost uh, twice as much as the year before, and yeah, it's at fifteen million. Now I don't know if it'll ever catch 3ds. 3ds is still sitting there at that twenty-four million. They're not making 3ds's anymore. That means eight million more switches have to sell during the lifetime uh, in Japan. So we'll see. Um, th there's definitely some hope that Nintendo can pull that off. PlayStation 4 is at number two, selling 2,161 units. It's uh, not that much, you know. Uh, then again, next gen's around the corner, so to be expected. A uh, big drop off from last year where they sold 27,000. Year to date, they haven't even hit half a million yet. You guys have seen that on screen. Um, and uh, yeah, they, they obviously did that. You know, they were 800,000 the year before. Uh, Switch passed them a long time ago. They're at 9,200,000 in Japan. 3DS sold 849. It's just trickling along. Nintendo doesn't even make 3DSs anymore, for those that missed that news, uh, because I focused on the Direct this morning. Uh, 3DS is done. They're no longer making it. So, I mean, these numbers are going to dwindle more and more and more. And Xbox, it exists. <laughs> it's not that hard to get one in Japan if you really want one. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. That is some pretty good numbers for nintendo remember right now there's no big game now this upcoming week this upcoming sales data this is when when, when things get really interesting we're gonna get super mario 3d all-star sales data uh you guys know we'll be doing a video on that covering that uh hopefully if the game blows up really really big nintendo's gonna do an announcement anyways on like total sales worldwide if it's some record-breaking thing uh we don't know if it will be that of course remember the current fastest selling switch game of all time is Animal Crossing New Horizons that came out earlier this year where it sold like 10 million units in three days or something. It was insane. Uh, so we'll see uh, if Super Mario 3D All-Stars can touch that or come close. Uh, but it's definitely going to do big numbers. There's no doubt it's going to do big numbers because all of the pre-orders that are sold out, guess what? Uh, that all counts for day one sales. All that data goes into day one, let alone the retail units on store shelves. Uh, basically, I think Nintendo sold as many of these units as they could get out there. And we have digital sales to throw on top. So, yeah, it's it's going to be insane numbers next week. But, yeah, for a week with no major new releases, 80,000 just chilling along, Nintendo can't meet demand. They just can't meet demand. And I don't know how they're going to meet demand in Japan the rest of the way because it doesn't stop. 3D All-Stars, right, comes, right? You know, then Mario 35 at the beginning of next month. You got Pikmin 3 Deluxe. You have Age of Calamity. That's the next three months right there. And this isn't even counting third-party games. There's going to be more third-party games coming out as well during the span. So, yeah, Nintendo is sitting pretty. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, Nintendo is sitting pretty. And I feel like this is exactly why they wanted to do that that uh, extra investors meeting was to be like, hey, guys, like don't worry about us. We're good. Look at all of our Switch Online subscriptions. Look at our growth. Look at the money we're making. Like Nintendo didn't really suffer from this recession other than the fact we haven't gotten a regular Direct or an E3 Direct because, well, it didn't happen. Uh, and Nintendo obviously struggled in some areas, but it sounds like behind the scenes that a couple Nintendo games that were going to come this year have been pushed to 2021, um, games that haven't been announced yet, and that happens. It's a pandemic, but I can't be mad with how the year's ending. 3D All-Stars, Age of Calamity, I mean, potentially Bravely Default 2 in December. I, I'll take that. I mean, that, that that's a good end to the year, a solid end to the year. Anyways, I'm Nathaniel Robojans from the Turner Prime. Let me know what you think about these Jap Japanese sales. Do you want to see me continue to cover the sales every week, uh, or would you rather me just wait until uh, you know something big happens, like a launch of a game? I mean, next week we're clearly going to cover it because, uh, hello, Super Mario 3D All Stars. Uh, but yeah, you guys, let me know what you think. All right, bye.